All right, so you got your cards. You picked your cleanse, how you did your vibe. You've been holding them. You've been sleeping with them under your pillow. Making a connection. What we do now, if you have all those key elements set up, is we're gonna learn how to trust that the cards you pick with your intuition, the first cards are correct. Because it's definitely very understandable and everybody goes through it with wondering like, am I going to make the cards tell me what I would think I want to know? Are the cards gonna only read the energy I'm giving off, not the actual situation? How do I know I actually picked the right card? So when we go into these worrying states, uh, you feel that rushing of emotion, right? That's not your intuition talking to you. Your intuition's never going to make you feel scared. It's never going to put rushing emotions in your thoughts. Your intuition is calm. It doesn't scream at you. It doesn't yell at you. I'm going to give you an example. Okay, most people, I'm going to do something I think that most people can always connect to is animals, right? You, you probably got like a dog, an animal or something, okay? I'm going to ask you a question and think about the first thing that comes to your head. Do you love your pet? I'm sure for most of you it was yes, yes, All right? So, I'm going to ask you a different question. Do you trust yourself? So do you feel a little bit of the energy dynamic of the difference in your mind, in your body, how you processed? You might have said yes with trusting yourself, but you might have been, uh, yeah. Or you might have said no. And your heart raced a little bit more. Your head started spinning a little more. That's your fear. It's your ego. And the ego is not cockiness and selfishness that is side effects of the ego what the ego is is formed in childhood for protection your ego wants you to be safe it doesn't want you to have to go through everything you've been through before so when things are getting shifty changing flowing like they do in life and you finally find stability in yourself or whatever your ego tries to stop it. Say, no, 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 we don't need to keep going forward. We're protected, we're here, we're safe, we're good. That's how you tell the difference between if it's your intuition talking to you or your fear. So let's go into picking the cards. This is what I do. I don't look at them. For the longest time when I was beginning, okay, you know, I, t I get my, my shuffle going, and I just be sitting here like, okay, let me analyze everything, and I'm, um, I think I saw this one first. Okay, this one, maybe. Maybe. You go into this maybe mode, you, you're looking around, you're, you're not letting the feeling of the card grab you in. That's the thing, your visualization is important after picking the card the visualization comes in when you're looking at the card every time you look at the card you should see it as a new story a new opportunity it will re resemble the basic things but the personal connections you make to which each card makes to you by doing that card a day By understanding this isn't a vocabulary test, you are allowed to sit there and ponder. You are allowed to sit there and marinate. Look at the card. Find things you haven't noticed in it before from the last time. Listen to the inner calm. Look at it. So you trust your intuition. It's not a rushed thing. It's a vibe. So, what I started doing, so once I realized I was getting in my head all the fucking time about that, okay? It's like, I'm not gonna look at them anymore. So, go ahead, get your vibe, whatever you do. However you shuffle, guys, don't matter. Just get the energy in the cards. 
Look forward. Start thinking of happy things. I, you guys watch my YouTube videos, you hear me do stupid shit where I'm like, skiddy ba bum boom The reason I do that stuff is, one, it puts good energy into the cards, into the, the surrounding, no matter the situation. But two, it gets my mind away from, am I doing anything right? I know I'm doing it right. I know I am, because it's positive, because it feels good. I'm not letting my insecurities, my ego, stop the message, stop the process. So, think of a song. Look at something. Start a vibe, start a vibe, start a vibe, and just go with it, like that. And that's another thing. Sometimes when you're shuffling and stuff and you really got the good flow going, the cars will throw things out at you. When cars are throw, when they throw things out at you, that's a really fucking good thing. It means that the energy of that's so powerful. These are front face value, okay? Another thing cars will do is if you're ever like shuffling, okay? And then like they come out like one of them is already up hand or something. What that is, is that one is a serious attention. Whatever that question is, whatever the energy dynamic is, that is like a key point factor to go off the rest of the reading. All the cards go off that card. If a card falls on the ground, that is another form of, this is something that's in your physical world right now. It's solidifying, it's, founda it's a foundation in your world. So, let's do this again. Shuffle, don't look at them. You'll get used to it. You might do, you know, a couple of times where, uh, you know, at the beginning you go like this. And it will happen all the time. You're like, oh, they weren't even next to each other, were they? Just do it again. It's fine. Just do it again. And then whenever you feel right, spread. We had some fall on the ground. So that's going to be about a foundation. So now what am I going to do? Skibbity bop. Flip. Boop. Whatever works for you. Don't look at them. Those are the right cards. Those are the right cards. Because we're connected. Because we weren't focusing on, ooh, am I doing this right? Do I look right? Should I take it up hand? Should I take it reversal? Whatever way it comes, whatever you picked is right. It's point blank simple. It's a vibe. Okay? So let's see what we picked. Oh, that went sideways. So, energy shifts. Realization. What have we got on the ground? Okay. On the ground, we had Seven of Cups up hand, Ace of Wands up hand, and Nine of Cups in reverse. So this is a perfect time. Since those three all fell on the ground, the rest of these cards, before we flip them over, are based off this. At this point, what you want to do, okay? Some form of writing. Manifestation is a humongous thing about manifestation is writing into existence. That's why I have my journal, guys. You don't have to get some anything. Dude, this was like $10 on Amazon. I got it because it's fancy. It makes me feel cool. And that, that puts a vibe. This is to make you feel good. To be yourself to allow others a space to be themselves and understand. So, you wanna open up your book, whatever you got. I also suggest getting a special pen. Everything about this is sacred. This is a sacred ritual. This is so something to honor how beautiful you are that you're able to do this, okay? So like I, I always get like I have this special felt pen, whatever flat pen. I always get felt. Well, no, a flat pen. I want to use it for when I'm working with you guys. I don't use it for anything else. So what I would do now is to get those visions coming through. We received what nine cups in reverse. So I put nine cups reverse in my uh, my book. Whatever pamphlet you have that calls to you go ahead look at it so that is unhappiness unhappiness 
material loss. Okay, and then next, Ace of Wands up hand, that's abundance. There will be some times you will not need to look at the cards to have a complete vision throw through, flow through. And there will be times you will. It's a vibe. Remember that, keep telling yourself, it's a vibe. So that's all about the abundance. Let me go ahead. I need to look into that to get more of my vision for you. Potential. New plants. I already know what's going on with this. So the Nine of Cups in Reverse was your energy before you got into this reading. You were called here for a reason. You want to understand yourself. You want to understand your cards. The Ace of Wands. An opportunity. Presented to you. And you're taking advantage of it. Like the motherfucking G you are. And then, Seven of Cups. Let's go ahead and put that in. Seven of Cups. That is abundance as well. That's happy perspectives. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Okay. Fantasies, dreams, imagination, living in an imaginary world, choosing between the real world and fantasy. You are understanding. Life is not black and white. You're tapped into something that this physical world we can't see and we're not supposed to. This is part of the, the understanding process and trusting that there's something bigger going on here. When you can connect with yourself, do you see like how it's kind of like a grid or whatever? You see, this is what I'm talking about with the visualization. I've never noticed that before. But it's all these people's, their minds are connected. But one person front face. That one person front face is you. That's your sentientness. And this is how you're connected to everybody else. You're opening up yourself to new perspectives. To new ideas, new opportunities. So you see that? By us going ahead and, and, and diving in and, and digesting what this means to you. Reading the words, writing them down. Things happen. You feel Engulfed with all this positivity, this light, this understandings, this energy. So, let's go ahead. Since we know the energy dynamic of what's going on right now. You have switched your perspective. This is how fast law of attraction and manifestation works. Manifestation does not know the difference between what is good and what is bad. It only knows what we focus on. So you need to make sure you're not focusing on things you don't want. You speak as is, not as you want. I have my wish, abund my wish abundance, my wish fulfillment. I have that job promotion. I am happy. I do love myself. You need to continuously, like a habit, like a muscle, like a sport, continuously work at it to form it into who it's just who you are. So let's go ahead and look at all the cards we got that are based off this. Wow, y'all heard and served. All right, we received the Queen of Wands sideways, Death up hand, Five of Cups in reverse, Knight of Swords in reverse. Or oh, I'm sorry, I don't even know why I'm saying reverse. Knight of Swords up hand, and the Hermit in reverse. And when you do those little things, okay? When you do those little notations, when you're like, I messed up, I said something differently. There is no such thing as a coincidence or a, really a mistake because it's a big scheme of factor of things like a cause and effect. So because I said Knight of Swords in reverse, what I'm gonna take, and this is what it's telling me. Before we started this reading, your energy was the, was the Knight of Swords in reverse, but now, it's front face, nice words of pant. So, what I would do now, I'm not going to go ahead and do it because it would take too long, but I would go ahead now and do the same exact process. I would put in what I feel, what I see when I look at the words. 
but I'm just going to go ahead and explain this to you. And what you guys can do if you like is in the comments or in the description, I'll go ahead and put what cards these were. You can go on your own time, look them up and do this process and see how this message connected specifically for you. See how the message can be interpreted for you. So, Queen of Wands, sideways. That's about understanding your magic. That's about understanding your potential, the kind, charitable, the one that wants to help to those who are willing, who those who are deserving. Death of Pan is an amazing card. This card is about the complete end of an old cycle to start in a new. Five of Cups is a card about depression, about unhappy perspectives. But that's the thing, you have to understand that with life, with these cycles, you're always going to have roadblocks. You're always going to have this part of, of learning how to trust your intuition and love yourself. This is a constant thing. It does get easier. And it does get better to shift. And doing stuff like this, it really helps you love yourself. It helps you understand your intuition. And with the Knight of Swords, pulling it up hand now but what i said was reverse so up hand is conqueror rushing forward to you know what you fucking want going reverse is chain back not being yourself and the hermit this card is about drawing in on the inner resources going into yourself but also in the same time Asking for experience advice. Asking for wisdom. And finding the wisdom within yourself. Do you see what you have done in this simple process? This law of attraction shift what you feel in yourself right now. You feel the tingling. I know it. Things are happening the way they've always had to to get you to where you are now and to continue on your cause and effect all your trauma all the fucking bullshit you've been through in your life has been for a reason to make you strong i don't care how cheesy it sounds it's true you have this in you all you must do is believe trust the cards that you pick all right and we'll do one more with our intuition one more with our intuition guys to set us off Another form of a vibe. Also, another thing I suggest about with the cards, the connections is it's great is when you have enough, you know, tarot decks, you, it's really cool to infuse different decks into your readings. Because like if you have two different tarot decks and you pull like a same card from both, it's just like a, a double verification of this message. And then I also really suggest like you need your you need your basic tarot, but really look into Oracle, look into guidances because they, I, I see them as like almost an exaggeration, a more further interpretation description of what the whole message is when you can pull oracle cards from it so when you pick oracle card have a reason for when you buy one like when i bought this this is all about intuition so whenever i want to get into your head i want to tell you what the ego is not letting you see this is this is the oracle deck i'm going to pull out to build off of with the red normal tarot or i want to put a little humor into you I want to make a little bit of a live situation, but still give you a good message. I'm going to pull out this, the rebel, the rebel deck. Have a reason for when you buy the cards. All right, so what are we sending off with, guys? What are we sending? What are we sending? And that one is front. We have a front face, one that fell, and one we just knew. Number three. Threes are going to be coming to you if they haven't already. Okay. So, what's the one that fell on the ground? Oh, face. Untapped inner power. Number 24. You are getting ready to experience great power from within yourself. Number four. Guiding light. In your darkest hour, you will find the light that will shine through and lead the way. 
A starry night, number 15. The beaming and glistening light from the stars reminds you that there is hope for your future. You're being sent off with so much hope. You're with the, you feel guided within yourself. You, you, you can sense this aura of you changing of this untapped inner power. You're fucking strong, okay? The only thing that gives in the way of your destiny, of your dream, of your intuition, of your life, is other self-doubt, is, is your inner bully. You know who the fuck you are. You know what you deserve, okay? All right, guys. I will be posting every Friday. I will see you next week. Let's get it.